Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking into Chiaki for deck or Chiaki, however it's pronounced, but essentially it's a way to remote play your PS5 or PS4. I'm going to be using my PS5 to the Steam Deck. Finally doing some more Steam Deck content. Here it is, the beloved OLED Steam Deck. Do really love the device, don't get me wrong. I know last week I did a gameplay showcase on the tablet I've been streaming from my PC upstairs. If that sounds cool, go check that video out, but this will be a Steam Deck video, so if you've been waiting for a Steam Deck video from me for a while now, I apologise, and today it will be a decent one. Have to say, remote playing to the Steam Deck from the PS5 is such a smooth experience. I've been able to play a ton of Persona uh, 3 Reload, uh, or Reloaded, Reload, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, it's, it's such a good way of streaming the PS5 if you don't want to sit down and watch the if you don't want to sit down and play the PS5 from the TV, streaming it to the Steam Deck and playing it anywhere you want in your house, it's amazing. I think you can even log in via remote connection and play it anywhere as long as you've got signal and the PS5 is hardwired in Ethernet style. A few caveats, um, in order to get the best performance possible on this, you need your PS5 hardwired to the router or router. It needs to be hardwired because otherwise you're going to have stuttering and connection issues and it just won't work as well as I've managed to get mine working. Um, literally the best device I've actually managed to get my PS5 streaming on is the Steam Deck. I don't know if it's a combination of the Wi-Fi 6 chip inside and just how streamlined and optimised Sharky 4 Deck actually is. Because I did try and play this on my tablet device uh, last week and the performance just wasn't as good and I don't know if I'm chalking that down to the fact that it's um, I mean PS Play the app that I did use on Android is decent for doing it but for some reason it just didn't it wasn't as smooth you could definitely tell it was stuttering a bit and that could be the app and it also could be the fact that this Android tablet is from 2019 so the Wi-Fi chip might be causing a few problems but um, like I say best performance on the Steam Deck for this, so it's really good. And obviously the OLED screen is gonna make your games pop and look good. The only downside is obviously the, the Steam Deck is 16 by 10 and the PS5 is 16 by nine. So you're gonna have black bars on the bottom and the top. You can use a feature on the back which kind of stretches the image or zooms in, but then you're making the games look not as good as they should. You're essentially cutting off half the screen or you're stretching the image, which makes everyone look like stick figures. So. Not sure why you'd actually do that, but if you want to fill the screen up and you don't mind the different distorted images, then go for it. Uh, but yeah, let's have a look at Sharky 4 Deck and uh, we'll talk through everything that I'm doing. But yeah, let's go. Welcome back, guys. This is a bit of um, behind the scenes footage. As you can see, I'm behind the camera. Normally talk over whilst kind of overlaying footage, but for this kind of video, I think it's decent that I talk through what I'm doing because it's essentially going to be a bit of a tutorial slash just showcase of how it works so well. So this actually has been installed from the app, from the app store. It's a flat pack, so I think you call them flat packs. Uh, I'm not sure the Linux terminology is very different to Windows. So essentially you go into the shop, I'll show you, and then you install the app and then you can set it up via that. So then once you do that, you're actually just adding a shortcut on Steam and it'll obviously appear in your, in your home menu. So if I just show you what it looks like in the uh, home, I've just got it labelled as PS Remote Player, so it is actually Sharky for Deck, but I used the change artwork from the decky to just change some artwork for it. And uh, once you get it set up, you can just literally resume. If your PS5 is in rest mode, it will be able to be turned on via this method as well. Just make sure your PS5 is in rest mode. So the settings I'm actually using for Sharky for Deck here is 1080p because my device is a PS5. Uh, 60 FPS and because my internet speed is decent, I've got a hardwired connection to the PS5 here and my internet speed is one gigabyte down and about 200 megabytes up. So I've kind of cranked the bitrate up. Um, I could potentially put it higher than that, but it's been pretty good and the size of the screen, I haven't noticed any distortions. So 55,000 or 55 megabytes is, um, is good enough for me. Codec is the PS5 one and it's Vulcan and high quality preset audio not really mess with obviously registered the console which isn't really that hard to do anymore you used to have to go and get this code from this weird website and you had to sign in and stuff and it was a bit sketchy um it works but this is a lot easier now but just to show you it works literally click on that and it will log into the ps5 
And as you can see here, I'm currently playing Persona 5, or Persona 3 even, uh, Reload. And if I just do a small test here, I'm running at 60 FPS so you can see this. There's absolutely no stutter, uh, stutter whatsoever here. It's, it's buttery smooth. And that goes for every PS5 game. I'll do a little showcase of uh, PS5 games for you, but um, yeah, it is amazing. The performance you get on this is crazy. The Like I mentioned in the previous clip, I tried to do this on my Android device and it just did not run as smooth as this. Um, so I don't know, like I say, if it's the Charky for Deck just being a streamlined device or if something else is going on in the background. The latency is really good, as you can see, up and down, up and down on the menus. Uh, talk to this girl here. It's There will be a slight bit of latency, but because you're not watching the PS5 screen, you're playing on the screen here, um, you won't really notice it. It's very, very playable and smooth. Um, I will say a lot of people say you need to take the HDMI out the back of your TV, and I kind of second that because it, at some point when I was trying to jump in and out of um, playing games, the screen went blank and I just didn't know why it was going blank. Nothing would move, it was all frozen, but I could hear the, the sound going in the background and there might have been some mix up with the HDMI signals. So yeah, just make sure you take out your HDMI cable at the back of your PS5 when you're remote playing. Bit of a pain in the ass, because obviously then you've got to put it back in if you want to play on the PS5 again on the big screen, but in the long run, it's not that much of a big deal here. I'll just hop over to Sifu and show you that the actual latency isn't that bad either. My PF PS5 is literally right there, uh, but like I say, it's, it's Etherneted. So as long as you've got a good connection on your Steam Deck, 5G network, uh, over to your router, router, you're gonna have a great time with this. Um, I've been super surprised. It's been allowing me to play like PS5 exclusives just handheld and on the go. Um, so things like God of War, Ragnarok, um, I haven't played much of it, but it's been great from what I've played so far. The actual gameplay and just the look of it is super sharp. Like I say, you will get the black bars at the top and bottom, which is kind of inevitable for PS5 to Steam Deck because it is a 16 by 10 screen. They have mapped the buttons on the back to kind of be the the changing and resolutions and as you can see that's it doesn't look too bad but it cuts it will cut off the interface like you're missing the screen it's literally just cropping in and this one is just stretching it so if you can get used to the slightly distorted image there where he's looking way too thin um yeah it's really down to your preference but um i prefer just to play it as it's supposed to be played um try and find some actual enemies here I think I've got quite far through this level. Um, but yeah, Sifu is extremely hard. <laughs> I've kind of been playing it on and off recently. Um, I managed to get to the museum level, but holy crap, the, the enemies get so difficult and they put so many against you at certain times as well. And the whole dodge mechanic where you have to literally dodge different directions is, um, is super fun. It's really like tough because you've got to kind of anticipate where they're going to, they're gonna further punch from and then dodge to the other side but now nah, it's um this is obviously the easier level here but i'm just showing off literally the the latency here that you can play games like sifu with their very quick response time kind of gameplay um oh yeah exactly that was that was kind of one of the badass moments in sifu right there that makes the game so much fun the fact you can just dodge a bottle like in midair like that is so clean. Um, if you get really good at the game, you can have some really clean runs in this. Um, essentially, the idea of the game is you have to play through it without dying loads because your age goes up every time you die, which is a really cool concept, um, I think, because every time you age, your strength goes up, but your health goes down. So... Sometimes you might need that extra bit of strength, but at the same time, you've got to make it through the whole level and fight a main boss at the end without getting to the age 70. Get to age 70, you actually die, um, and then you have to restart the run again. But yeah, super cool concept and super cool game. Um, as you can see here, it's uh, paying homage to Old Boy in the corridor fight scene, which is super sick. Um, great film. 
shout out. But yeah, point being, the enemies can actually hurt each other as well, which is super cool. But point being, you can play games like this on the Steam Deck. Um, this game does run really well on the Steam Deck anyway, but as a showcase, a showcase of latency, super, super good. So I'm going to hop over to desktop mode, show you how to install Sharky, and then yeah, you can have fun with it. Welcome back. We are in desktop mode on the Steam Deck now. Uh, I've just hopped over to literally the, the Discover Store. And because this is quite far into stages of development now, you can just search for it. So, Chiaki, I just put Chiaki in because that's kind of all you need to do. It's quite a, a certain thing. You can see here that there's two versions. Um, Chiaki is the app, but Chiaki for Deck is ex is like the one that's been optimized for the Steam Deck. So make sure you're picking this one up, guys, because this one is literally the one that will run the best. Uh, there's no point in getting the other one because, like I say, this one's optimized for Steam Deck. So download this, and then you'll just launch it. Uh, as you can see here, it's opened up Sifu. So let me just close off Sifu, and then we can get back to the main event. So this is Chaki for Deck open up on the desktop store. You don't need to actually open this up on the desktop. You can kind of do all this from the main menu itself, but I just wanted to show you how to download it. So essentially, once you've done this, you open up the app um, and your PS5, if it's on the same network as Chaki for Deck, will be appearing here. Um, and then you just need to click on that and then you need to log into your PlayStation Network account and then it'll link the Chaki for Deck and the uh, PlayStation five or four onto your network and then you should be able to just load straight into your to, into your uh, console here the only thing i think you might need to do is get a base 64 number which i'll leave a link in the description on how to get that but essentially it's just kind of logging into another browser and it will pull the number for you but i don't think that's needed anymore i think they've kind of streamlined it to the point where you just need to log into your playstation account now um, and it kind of just works so yeah that's Chaki for Deck, guys. I'm going to show you a couple more games running on it. Um, it's super easy to set up now. If you have a PlayStation 5 lying around and you don't really use it that much anymore, this is perfect. Um, you really will get some use out of this. So, yeah, let's just have a look at a couple more games. Just a shout out here to another channel, uh, Chaki for Deck Guiding Setup from SK Talks. This is a great setup installation kind of video for Chaki. So, if my very lackluster instructions on how to get it working are not doing it for you, definitely check out this channel and this video. I'll link it in the description below. But essentially, I just want to show off that it's possible and how good it is. Um, so yeah, if you want an in-depth actual PS5 kind of setup video, definitely have a look at this one. Other games that are awesome on this uh, via Charky for Deck is Tony Hawk's. Uh, Pro Skater 1 and 2, so a game that kind of requires you to have a good frame rate. So reaction time, yeah, it, it requires you to input loads of tricks and stuff in uh, within a time limit. So I kind of wanted to showcase this because it's quite a good, absolute scummiest way of getting this warehouse one. It's a ton of points. I got myself a little trophy there, nice. So yeah, as you can see, super clean, super smooth. Uh, this is kind of my go-to show-off game of how... Good games can run um, latency wise and just looks wise. It looks awesome. And because it's a PS5 kind of scaling down to that eight inch screen of the Steam Deck, you're getting crispy visuals, um, obviously dependent on the bitrate you pick, but they, they look super, super good. And um, yeah, if you don't mind playing on the smaller screen because you want to play handheld, this kicks the PlayStation Paul's ass every day of the week, man. PlayStation Portal, um, I kind of got a PlayStation Portal not long ago, I mentioned that in my previous video, but I'll show off some footage here of this exact game on PlayStation Portal, and it just ran like absolute ass, and I don't know why, uh, Sony have got some issues as far as their remote play stuff goes, because, yeah, Tracky for Debt runs perfectly for me on my network, and the PlayStation Portal was just stuttering, a stuttering mess, to be honest, very inconsistent frame times, and it just micro stuttered really badly. Um, I'm quite sensitive to micro stuttering, so it got on my nerves massively. The screen, though, super awesome. It's not OLED, but it's nice and crispy and big. And the actual controller is obviously a PS5 controller split in half, so you've got the controller there. But as far as the actual gameplay, it's crap. Really, really bad. Um, and I'm not sure if that's because there's some inconsistencies in the frame the frame time. But, yeah, can't recommend Sharky for Deck enough, guys. This... If you have a Steam Deck and you're considering a PlayStation Portal, 
do not buy one sort this out and you'll be sorted man you, and then you've essentially got everything in one device as well so it kind of streamlines everything but yeah Charky for deck is hands down better than the playstation portal a million percent and just to close the video out some gameplay of god of war ragnarok so this is kind of like the i want to play triple a titles that are only available on playstation but i want to play them handheld uh, because I like to play in bed or I like to play on the sofa or my girlfriend or wife's watching something on the TV and I want to kind of just chill out and play my games. How good does this look, guys? It's literally scaled down. Make sure you have all your games in performance mode so you're getting that 60 FPS because there's literally no point of having them in resolution mode in this because you're scaling down to an 800p screen. You don't need to be looking at 4K visuals uh, streamed to the device. So, yeah. This might be my go-to way of playing this game because as much as it is a cinematic masterpiece of an experience, like I just don't really play games on my big screen TV anymore. I mainly just use it for watching movies and TV shows. So the fact that I can now play this handheld with like no latency whatsoever. I mean, you guys saw Tony Hawk and you guys saw Sifu. It just works, you know, and there's no micro stuttering. It's been an amazing experience, Charky for Deck, and I can't recommend it enough. So if you've got a massive library for your PlayStation 5 or you want to play some Slay the Spire, you know, like, or Inscription, you know, games that don't require a lot of power and they're more arcade indie titles, stream them over to your deck, guys. It's just so much better than just playing it on the TV, especially for, like, indie titles like that. But... I guess the best thing about this is you can always just hop backwards and forwards from the deck as well. So you can play on the deck for a bit and then kind of treat it like a, a Nintendo Switch where you're playing on the deck and then hop over to the TV. It's just very versatile and just an awesome experience all around. So yeah, guys, hopefully this has been cool. And um, if any of you guys haven't realized you can do this, definitely have a look. It's well worth it and it's all free. So it's like you've got no commitments or costs there. So yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and if you guys have been playing Shark for Deck for a long time now, how do you find it? Do you find it really good? I mean, the visuals are amazing. The OLED screen just makes this game's pop so good. So guys, let me know what you think to Shark for Deck in the comments below. Um, I hope you've enjoyed some more Steam Deck content from me. I know I haven't done Steam Deck content since last November when I actually did a review on the OLED, but if you guys want to see some more cool things with the Steam Deck, let me know. Um, I'm planning on doing a video on what I've been playing on my Steam Deck and it's a mix of indie and old school stuff, so you stay tuned for that, um, you'll probably enjoy it. But yeah guys, let me know if you've been playing Sharky for Deck yourself, and uh, thanks for watching, I hope to see you guys in the next video.